Hello. Hold on, because you know I'm not muted. There, I caught it. Hello. Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome to my channel. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm crafting. I'm making a mess. I have a mess on my desk. Can you guys even see? Let me move this over. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Please don't fall. Yeah, don't fall. I don't even know if you can see that. No, Kip, I don't. <laughs> Do I ever mute? No. Oh, thanks, Ange. I know. Aren't those keys? Ange, let me show you the box. Hold on. I'm going to show you the box. Look at that. There's like so. Look at these. Look at these old rusty. Jeez, I didn't rust these. These over here I did. I just threw them. But look at all these skeleton keys. Look at that. Keys for days. The music box keys. Look at that whole thing of keys. Just keys. What a find, right? Look at them. Girl, I, you know I was in heaven. And I was like, mm. And just gonna have some of these, and I got something for you next box too. Ooh, wait till you see, wait till you see. Mm. If you want a sneak peek, I'll show it to you. Look at these, like wind up ones. Look how cool these are. Is that like amazing? Oh, you're welcome. I never know what I'm doing. That's why it just says hi down at the bottom. I was gonna say. Um, I'll put a description in when I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I never know what I'm doing. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. Do you want to see the other stuff, Ange? And Debbie, because I know you'll appreciate it too. Oh, hold on. This was in there too. These are amazing. These have that old... What's that called? Bake light, bake. They're, they're, they're candles. How cool are they? Do you see it? How cool are they? In the bag. Okay, yes, a sneak peek. Okay. Hold on. You have to thank my mother for this one, Ange. Because she was like, could you use these? And I'm like, uh, do you think? Do you think? Okay, are you ready? Hold on. I gotta go through that. <laughs> it's, you know. Alright, are you ready? Are you sitting down? I know. I love her too. She's out to dinner right now. So, here we go. Hi, Melissa. Angie, look at that. Are you freaking out? I was freaking out. Look at this. Look at these things. Like, yes. Yes, please. I know they're big. We can always do something with these. Like, come on, look at the top of that. I said, sorry, I fell over. <laughs> right? Oh, is my head in the way? Because my head's all down in the box. Look at it. Oh, the pie. Come on. Okay, there was your sneak peek. Oh my gosh. 
crazy, right? I'd know. I'd wear it to Walmart. I'd put it, I'd, I'd make it a dress. I'd wear it. <laughs> I'd wear that. I'd wear it to Walmart. I gotta wait my hands up. I will wear that to Walmart. You got that right. Unreal. I know, right? I know you, you know you getting some. You know you get some. Okay, so anyways, let me just do my spiel real fast. Uh, Trace came out of the um, steampunk folio today. Did you guys see that? I did. Yeah, that's how I'm keeping all my things now. You would not believe how much easier life is. But let me get rid of all this stuff right here. Because this is what I'm working with right now. Hold up. Let me put that right there for a minute. She came out with a steampunk folio. And, man, she nailed the steampunk. Wow. I'm not usually like a steampunk girl. But I don't mind this. This is pretty cool. And it's a folio. It's a folio. And she shows you on her channel today how to put it together. Kip, do you need some? Oh, did believe then did you see how big the box was? I could share. I could share. I absolutely will share. I absolutely will share. I still have some um metal detector finds, that kind of stuff. All that stuff. That sounds cool. You saw the kit this morning? I know she did a video on it. It's really nice, right? I love the colors. I'm loving that. What is it? Like teal? It's a really, really pretty color. There's so many, like, layers to this. Anyway, so I printed it out. She's, hello, gorgeous. Love the, the watch. And you'll see probably doubles of these. And I printed these on onion skin. Because I want to make glassine bags out of them. So, yeah, I had to, had to print some on onion skin now pretty that is it's so pretty it's so pretty i love the pockets and i love how she writes optional inside panel <laughs> she's so helpful look at that look at the little gears and everything i don't have any cogs i don't think i don't know i gotta look through my things this was option to cover but anyway she folded this down put it onto the two that i'll show you and she made it a folio I'm loving the banners. Glad you brought those back. And again, you probably, you just saw that one. I printed extra because, you know, I always need extra. Wait till you see what I'm about to pull out. Okay, you saw that one. And then she did it smaller. Like, yes, please. Then she put that edging on the back or like on the inside of that other one. Oh, and here's the backs. They, <clears throat> there's two different back sides. So that is part of the kit as well. Can you guys see him right dark? I look dark. I look like I'm dark. Well, hello everyone watching. Oh my gosh. Hi. And hello. Oh, stalker. Where have you been, woman? Where have you been? Hi, Rox. Hi, Danielle. Oh my gosh. Hi, Danielle. How are ya? Hi. My stalker, I've missed you. But it's got pockets. These tip. Look at the door. Did you see the door? And this yellow. I'm not. I like. Um. I like that yellow. I'm not minding that yellow at all. Love the numbers. Love the the way that these numbers are. That's just gorgeous. I don't know what you call that air balloon thing, but that thing is cool. Look at the mechanical butterfly. Nailed it, Fox. Nailed it. Oh, see? I have extra. I totally have extra. Oh, the pockets. Okay, so... When I used to... to get, I love how she writes shorter pockets. She tells you exactly what it's for. I know. I mean, me neither. Me neither. What's up, Zoe's good? 
um yeah i'm not a steampunk girl either at all like you know when that vagabond thing came out and stuff i was like yeah all right whatever um first of all he's cute she's just gorgeous but these pockets i used to always cut these little flappy things off yeah that was dumb that was really dumb because then like my tags would be in there and i'm like why can i not get this tag out well michelle you should put the flaps on yeah that's what they're there for and again another one another one there's the cards and like the things that go in the packets love these like these would be cool for plates to write like you know journal or whatever like put something over but don't cover their faces because they're good looking oh and then here's this one this is so funny so she's optional inside panel is this one but she did this one and when she uh flipped it out she put it on the inside and it matches perfectly so i mean you can't go wrong with it like you really can't mess it up you just really just can't mess up this kit i love it um if you look on instagram it's on my instagram today um i haven't put it on my TikTok yet but i will and I'm just using these. These are just sheet protectors. And I'm telling you, they're making my life so much easier. I also took a journal out of timeout. Hold on. I have not looked up in a hot minute. Hold on. Um, I also took one of my journals out of timeout. So I've been working on that. But I'm so starting another one because you know that's what I do if I don't have six projects at once and it's summertime see that bam it's all it's right it's right there it's right there right there have you guys been watching creep on in June have you guys been watching that I know she did awesome with the colors right the colors rock I have um yeah, I just, like, I have that color, sorry, silk, and I haven't used it on anything, and I, I like it. I don't know. I like it. I like it. But this one right here, don't freak out, because this is, this is, yeah, all printed. This is the actual kit itself right here. This is the Dispatch Dispatch. Um, oh, my gosh. I printed some, you guys know I go crazy for postal, like nuts for postal. So I went around my room and got, oh my gosh, this chair is going to drive me nuts. I'm on one of those mats that you just slide across the floor in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have to like position one wheel on the carpet or I will keep sliding down my desk. Anyways, this one, I think this one. I don't want to get the number wrong, but it's a lot of pages. It is a small one and a tall one. And that's not how I'm using it, of course. You, you guys know. I have to complicate everything. Um, like, this is the small. This would be, I think she called this, like, I don't know, the U.S. size. I don't, I don't know. But, oh, my. Oh, could, come on. Are you seriously, seriously kidding me? So I go through this and I'm like, the one thing that I really don't have in my craft room is I don't have primary colors. I really don't. Nope. I don't use reds. I don't use green or blues. Um, if I do, they're more on the softer side, everything like that. So I was rushing, not rushing, but we just shop in my room and wow i really do have things that will match this are you the you know what about creep on june you guys i'm on the 30th the last day what am i gonna make i mean i know what i'm making because it's right down there but i'm not gonna show you but really on the th on the 30th i was like dang no pressure michelle to come up with a brand new idea 30 days in the last day of it. I love it. 
You finished yours for number 17? Cool. I can't wait to see. I got a sneak peek of somebody's. I'm not going to say who. Um, and wow. Just wow. Wow. It's all I can say. Wow. So this is like, just this is just like tags. And more tags. And more tags. And you know I'm going to cut them up because I like using the bits and pieces of them. So there's like tons of tags. Okay. I, I don't know how I have this ordered, but because it was folded like this, I must have it in some kind of order. I don't know. And then there's like the inside pockets. Again, I won't cut those flaps off now because I know what they're for. Look at the old mailman. Look how cute this is. I'm, oh, just, I, I'm loving this. I'm just loving this kit. I'm loving it. So there's that. And then there's the ephemera. <laughs> that goes, this I live for right here. This saves me a whole lot of cutting because she put it all right there. It says, help the postman. <laughs> okay. I'll go carry his bag tomorrow. And then there's these really, really small ones. Not good with the mini. Okay, and you'll notice that these are, I didn't change my paper and my printer. So these are like this. So they are on heavier cardstock. Look at the mailboxes. How cute are those mailboxes? We have Postman. He's like, really? Love, 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 love the post office love did i do that nope she did that i was like did i print five by seven nope she did it because right there's her thing there's the tags that go on there i have some ideas for that paper kit paper clip slips yeah i've yet to try those you guys I i'm nervous i don't i don't think i'd be very good at that Okay, so there it is. It's hard right there. It's on cardstock. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, okay, so we go long now. So this is for the tall one. If you want to make a tall one, tall skinny. People are in bed now. The talls and skinny. Just so pretty. Look at the map. I love this postage do. Love, love, love all of it. Yeah, it's printed twice. Because you know what? I thought my printer ran out of ink because this came up so purple. And I was like, oh, no, no. Nay, nay. You're not going to run out of ink halfway through this job. So there's the long ones. Oh, look at that. I got a cool idea for that. I'm sure everybody can make it that one. Oh, look at it. Oh, am I even in screen? Sorry. <sighs> that is so pretty. It's so pretty. And I love these. I love this blue. I really do. I really love the blue. There's not a stitch of pink in here, people. Not a stitch of pink. So, no. Couldn't throw in pink. I did find a pink house today, though, and I thought, I'm going to put that in there because they probably delivered to that house. Here's the sideways one, or the regular one, would you say? The normal? Um, I used a 110-pound Ultra Bright from, I is it called Nevea? Nevea, it's the N. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get it on Amazon. It's 110 pound. Yeah, there'd be a sprinkle of mini in there. Yeah, Melissa, you gotta watch the uh, collab. It's hashtag creep on June. It's a bunch of people. So if you haven't caught up, you have, um, let's see, 13 videos to catch up on because, and actually some people made two. Um, so I'm gonna say about 13 14 videos to catch up for sure um but yeah so this is 
like what would you would call like the normal what like six by nine like the normal size that we use the sideways one not long and skinny we kind of just shut up just shut up oh my gosh i can't i can't it's upside down look at <sighs> needless to say i love this so much and i have been waiting to just come on here and work with this and that's what i'm doing okay so that's the kit so um i found this in my i don't know i think it was in my letter box and it just says howdy soldier don't forget him write a letter now and then somebody wrote there they're getting a whole suit for a dollar 25 yeah that's right milk groceries and gasoline don't forget to get gas like you'll find out when you're on the side of the road but i thought those colors were really good with it so i always wanted to use that and it's always been here so i'm going to do that and then i went through tracy's digis okay so been on Tracy's design team since day one. Day one. And I have all of them. <laughs> so here I am scrolling through. Laurel hates how I have my digitals <laughs> arranged because they're not. They're not arranged. So I saw these. And these are the plain and simple labels. Exactly what they are. Plain and simple. That's what I want. Because there are some, if you see in this kit there'll be you know there's labels on there so why not so plain and simple because some of this stuff if if you notice it's a little busy so you're gonna have to like break it up a little or i am you could leave it however you want that's what i'm doing i'm break it up a little bit then okay of course found these because uh, again i don't have things that are like primary colors um so these are called the really capitalized really this is when she was just creative this is when she was love done journals yeah that's that we're going back going back um the really random color labels so i printed them in blue i printed them in the red the black and like bookseller and stuff like that i won't use those it's not really part of like the kit but like i love the number the number and they're all different like french i won't use this is really not a french theme um i love the writing fluid because you know you have to write i love the drop cap of the t do you think that is for tracy uh -huh. yeah i love the in advance i love the airmail and there's airmail here so those are the really ra random color labels there is the kit is bigger it's about i don't know six pages so i only typed or printed you know what i needed whatever do you see this pile down here so then i found these envelopes i don't know where these came from to be honest with you um i believe they're hers but then again i don't because this one has lace on it and she's not lace so i'm not sure where i got these and if they are hers i apologize but there's nothing written on them i could have just downloaded them i don't know have no clue this makes me think that it's not her because it's lacy and she doesn't really do like lots of lace things so i don't know but it could be i don't know this is her um yeah that's right you guys I, I, this is crazy i know this is when she was this this tracy fox creative <laughs> and this is from dispatches which was her first postal kit that i went postal over and i did a book over it and it's already gone it's sold um yeah loved it so these are just the backs of postcards these are going to get obviously decorated on the front 
So I printed these out and there's one that's called right here, this one. There's two dispatches. There's one just called dispatches and then there's one called altered dispatches. And this one has more color on it and she kind of grunged them up a little bit. Um, they have writing on them. These also did as well, but I wanted the ones with writing on it because there is no green in the postal kit. Um, if there is, it's a stamp. It's really small. It's not, I was going to try and bring that color out in it, but it really wasn't that prominent more so than the creams and the yellows. So there's that. Then there's my absolute favorite kit period. Okay, I'm just looking up. My bad. My absolute favorite kit that she's ever made is this two-page kit right here. I love this kit. I probably have this printed a million times. It is Framework Random Ink Light Ephemera. This is my favorite kit. These two pages. It's only two pages. That's it. Mm -hmm. I love this kit. I have used these labels a million times. And I, I just, I love them. I love them. So I'm going to use those. Then I'm going to use some of these. Because, see what I'm talking about with the colors? There wasn't uh green in here like i said if there was there it was like a, a a postage stamp or something there was like there's um black in here for the writing there's reds there's blues um there's just that little bit of purple right there so i didn't think about bringing that color out so i have these these are compendium mk3 tags because again these are pretty busy these pages are pretty busy. Um, so I kind of want to just center in on a couple of things and then decorate them and kind of break it up a little bit. That's my plan, by the way. Anyways, and of course, you're going to need envelopes. So I got some envelopes out, all different kinds of envelopes. Um, some airmail ones and then i found these i didn't even know i had these look at these they're glassine like what where'd these come from hello i was like okay so i have those i'm gonna have like these so there's gonna be envelopes in there and then i printed these out i went on you know the abyss you guys know what the abyss is and I printed these out. There's nine. This is uh, glossy digital photo paper. And I printed them wallet size. And it has everything to do. I just typed in vintage postmen. Look, look at the load. Look at the load he's carrying. And then I thought, that lady's sitting there waiting for her mail. Look at her. She's waiting by the mailbox. Like, oh, I hope he writes me. And then she's by her little post office. And then look at him. He's getting the mailbox out. And then that's the whole crew right there. With their cute little saddle bags. And then he's eating lunch in a mailbox. Because, you know, that's what they do. And then this one has a donkey. It's adorable. It is adorable. So I printed off more pictures. Um, and then this is just more of the kit. See, I told you I went, I got, oh, and I got some more images. These are, I believe, are just, these images are these images right here. I just got them a little bit bigger. See, she's waiting on her mail too, on her porch. See, not creepy. Not, not creepy people, Kip. Not creepy. They're just waiting. Waiting on their mail. I liked that post office sign. And I loved that truck. There's another one. Where'd it go? Did I not print it? Oh, yes, I did. Look at that one. Uh-huh. That's how they got their mail. I drive that. 
in the snow. That's perfect. But there he is. He's eating his, his lunch. He's got his little thermos and everything. Eating his lunch in the mail box. Okay, so I have a gazillion printed out. Gazillion. Because not only do I have this idea in my head, in my ooh, head, let me get this off. Because I'm going to get down to that pile right there is what I want right now. That's what I'm going to work on. Not only do I have that in my head, I have another one in my head. And it's behind me to do with this. But we're not going to talk about that one right now. Because that would just make me go crazy. I'll just go crazy. So let me put that down there. Okay. So. <laughs> Let's start the misery michelle okay so i shopped my room uh again not very many red white blue that kind of thing so i found my eyelets um there's red in here there's blue in here there's black um there's yellow so again those will go with the um kit i found these really cool letters i got them out of a game and you know i have to have some ransom lettering in my books so i'll come up with some kind of word probably be like i don't know male real clever i know um remember this awful stuff yeah no mm -mm. no this is the stuff that i was like look if you want it you can just take it yeah so i'm gonna use the black and white a red a blue and maybe this mustard color i don't think so though because it's not really that color but it could be um, but the, again, no green. Um, could you add green? Sure. I don't care. You do you. And then I found some gimp and that's really red. And this is really red. This was like in the bottom of a drawer. Okay. That's, that's how far down that was. And then I found some of this gimp. I think this is gimp. I don't know. It's really pretty though. It goes with it. Oh. I don't have the papers up here anymore. It goes with it. I matched it. So I have that. And then I have my dish full of yum. Love Rick Rack. Hello. Love the Rick Rack. Love the seam binding, bias tape, all that stuff. So much fun. So I'm going to use that. A little bit of red velvet. Yep. Found that. Found that. Don't ignore the orange thing. It's just that it keeps following me. I don't know. It's a little crochet piece. I, I don't know where I got it. it. Just keeps following me. Um, I love the blue Rick Rack on there. This Rick Rack. I have red buttons in here. Um, I have these memo sticks that they're actually for a wedding, but I think Tim Holtz makes smaller ones, but I like the big ones. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but that's for a door. I don't know. I like gold as the offset color. Velvet button. I don't know. Just random things that I just picked. And I love this. Love that. Going to use that. Yeah. I know. Shut up already. Right? It's not show and tell. Oh, and um, just some metal clips. You can get these at... Um, I don't know, the Dollar Tree? The Dollar Tree has stepped up its game in crafting, let me tell you. Wow, I was like, okay, I'll take those. Sure. Okay, I'm shutting up now, I think. Nope, I got these. <laughs> because I want this part right here, which looks like a label. And I need to decorate these envelopes for the front. So this is his new paper collage paper. This is the um, photographic. And then I have this one, which is the typeset. I um, think both of those will go nice in there. Um, have I used either of these? Do I know how to use either of these? No, never used them before in my life. His collage paper. I've used um, the, what is that? The Prima? You know, the one with the wilderness, the one that I like and I caught fire that, that one day with the medium. Oh, that was fun. Anyways, um, yeah, 
So I haven't used these yet. I have quite the collection of these, but I, I don't, I've never used them. So I'm going to use them today. And then I'm going to use um, the correspondence stamps from Tim Holt. I'm not going to use my new, which I'm telling you, look. Oh, I can't say that. They're upstairs in my room right now because I was, um, hi, Song Bits, Laura. Oh, I know who you are. Hi, Laura. See? That's her last name. Hi, Joyce. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Hi. I know who Laura is. Y'all do. She just changed her name. Um, I do have those stamps. I've been using them nonstop. I'm telling you, those damn pull stamps, oh, my gosh, best investment ever. And they're sticky. Wow, are those things sticky. But anyways, for this one, I'm going to use just the correspondence stamps. Yes, there's other ones, and um, I could go through all my stamps right now and, you know, just, like, pick things out, and but this is not what I want. That's, no, right now. I mean, that shipment, sure, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to use that one. So I'm just going to use those for right now. Oh, these are the sample ones. Yeah, they're not even in their package, okay? I'm just carrying them around the house like I've got a new blanket or something. Like, seriously. They're amazing. Yeah. Amazing. But these are more, um, well, most of them are... Not most, but some are French, and I didn't really want to use them for it. It just didn't, it just didn't fit. Didn't fit. I didn't want to use them. Okay, that's my that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. I didn't want to use them. Um, now it's got me looking through my. Oh, oh, there's my Kathy Holden. <gasps> right there. Because I don't think there's one in here. That's the whole thing. Oh, that says letter, handle with care, Fred. Okay, well, and then I'm using the Kathy Holden one. Got that one. Yeah. I have a whole thing of stamps beside me, you guys. I have two of these. Um, I don't know. I guess they're date. I don't know. They're, you're supposed, there's 30 slots in it. I have two of them. And I put my stamps down in them. Got them at a garage sale or something. I don't know. Works perfect for me. Anyways, Michelle, shut up. Okay. All right. So I'm working on the cover for this and I want stacked envelopes. I'm going to call them envelopes. Halfway through, I'll probably start calling them envelopes. Is it envelope or envelope? Hi, Dear B. Dear B, oh my goodness, your Instagram. What was that? Good job. Loved it. Absolutely. I ding hearted it. Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm going to make a stack. And I just want the stack to look like, you know, somebody came in and just threw down their mail. They need decorated first, but I've already pre-took them apart. These are old envelopes. I suggest either use and try and take apart tea dyed ones or very old ones where the gum is almost gone because they'll rip really easy, but it's okay if they rip because you want that vintage look, but these are, these are old, like old. Oh, and for my inking for this, I have never, ever, ever used oxides i have them but i've never used them and i found this brush corduroy it was on clearance i don't know hobby lobby or something and i tried it out and i love it it's really nice it's it's uh it's kind of like a toned down because you know i think brush corduroy is like the color vintage it's like a toned down ink, basically. That's what I think. I don't know. I'm sure somebody can say that a little bit more articulately, but that's what it reminds me of, like a toned down or a powdered ink. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I need this one this way. And what I'm going to do 
I'm going to cut a little slice in each of these. So these fold in their pockets. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. And got the idea from uh, somebody called Scrimpin' Mama. I think that's her name, Scrimpin' Mommy. Maybe. I don't know. Can't remember. Um, I'll probably link it below because, you know, all that's linked below right now is where you can go and get that steampunk kit and take your right to Tracy's Etsy. You could get the steampunk. You could get the postal. You could get the uh, simple flower florals that just came out. Um, I mean, she has put out some kits. Go get the foxy rag if you haven't read that yet. Oh my gosh, Debbie Kipp has the most amazing article in that. It's printed right back over there. I love it. The most amazing article written. Kip, I'm still raving about that. I just love it. It's I see it every day. It's right on my desk. I just love you. I just love you. Okay. So, I know what the cover of this book is. And it's fairly big if I'm using a pretty big envelope. I can tell you if you want how big it is. It's chalkier. That's the word chalkier. I know, Laura. I haven't seen you. Right, Kai. I was. Well, I, that's why I said C. I didn't know if you wanted anyone to know who you were. Yeah, it's Laura Kai. Um, this is a little bit uh, nine and a four quarter. We're just going to go with four. Four sounds good. And this one is equally as old. And you'll see I cut that flap off the front. This one's six and a quarter. I, what's the mark right past the half? <laughs> I don't know. It's one mark past the half of three and a half. I don't know. They fit together well. That's all I know. Um, this is three and th three quarters. And this one is three and three quarters by it's almost three by five how about that Ta-da! yeah anyways just pick three that fit together so i wanted to open up on my right so i'm going to put this one this way and then i'm going to slide See where I cut that off and opened them up because I'm going to put little slits in them and they're going to be invisible. And I'm going to put this one this way so it opens up this way. And then I'm going to put a slit in this one. <clears throat> and put this one back over to the right. And flip it out that way. So each of them will still be usable envelopes. I'll probably see. Did I, did I change the word envelope to envelope? I don't know. So they'll each probably, uh, or each will still be functional packets. I just think it's going to be really neat. Um, and then I'm going to use this as a pocket on the front. I'm going to decorate it with the kit. And I'm going to use, uh, just for decorations, two of the tags to come together and just tie it. And then I might bigger twine around the envelopes. And I want to shove some postcards down there as well from the other dispatch kit. So that's my plan. Okay. We got that. Yeah, forget it. Uh, fractions are mathing. Just, you know, I'd rather use things like, you know, just a titch over there or just a smidgen or <laughs> those. I know it was so amazing. You got, I'm telling you, if you did not get the Foxy Rag this month, you're missing out. That kept. Oh, it just, my mom read it, my son read it, it was just perfect. It was great. It's a great, great article. All right. So, because these are this way, and this one's opening 
this way, and this one's opening this way. So this actually would be a top. Okay, hold on. So this one's open this way. So they got to decorate it this way, right? Am I doing this right? No, no, I'm not doing this right. So this one has to be decorated upside down, right? Because it's opening that way. Correct. Okay. Like that. And then since this one's going the right way, I can decorate this way the right one. You know this is going to be backwards. I just feel it. All right. Shall we? If you're like, yes, let's shut up. Um, what do I want to use? Do I want to use matte medium on that tissue paper? And but my stuff will be wrinkly, and I don't want them to be wrinkled. I have an issue with that. Oh, I tried these, you guys. Yeah, you missed out on Michelle Sales for you, you, those of you who didn't get these. These are nice. Really nice. Oh, Kip! I found this. I looked all over my room for it because you said, wouldn't happen to have the book, would you? And I was like, yeah, I do around here somewhere. Finally found it. This, this one? Remember those? Yeah, found it. It's in your pile. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, it was right in front of my face the whole time because I would have shoved it in your box, but I didn't. Anyways, I found it, so there it is. So, should I use matte medium? Everyone hurts. That's, um... Oh my gosh, I can see him. It's Michael Stipe. What is that song? Or what is that band? Everybody hurts. Uh, it's Michael Stipe singing. Oh my gosh, my mom just came home, you guys. I am not tracking her on my phone right now. She just came home. Oh no. about to get loud sorry rem is that them rem i think it is i think it is hold on kid come down step two i'm alive okay. go down there not okay i think she can't get in the door either we have a lock that's kind of broke <laughs> it's rem yeah R.E.M. <laughs> she's just like, Nana, she's alive. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. All right. So, I want to decorate these first. I'm, I'm going to have to use matte medium, aren't I? I didn't know Lennox and Keith did one. Really? The girls did. I didn't know that. I like Michael Stipe's voice. Let's go talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, I'm getting a door. Don't worry, everyone. I'm getting a door soon. See? No. Yeah. Never mind me. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll use... I don't want to use it, though. I don't want it to ripple but i guess that would add to the oldness looking of it okay i'm using matte medium hi vicky how are you kip's journal her music went oh my word it's just gorgeous it's just gorgeous. She's taking lyrics from her favorite. If you've not, don't follow her on Instagram or anything like that. Just, just do it. Just do it, do it, do it. Oh, here's a child. Oh, love you. Oh, oh, did you come tell me? Oh, you, did you just come tell me that you love me? Don't make it weird. He said, come on, don't make it weird. I love you. 
Aw, he just came and gave me a hug and told me he loved me. I love that kid. He's about to be 18 next week. I'm crying already. I swear. Can't believe it. Y'all, the time goes so fast. My baby is grown up. I mean, I know, like, the twins are 26 and all, but when it's your baby, my word. Sorry for the crinkle. I'll do it under my desk. See, it's over. I never used it yet. I'm, I'm going to get rid of that. Do I really have to keep it? I don't think so. Okay. So, see, I want to use some pieces here. If you have not gotten this, oh, my word. All right. So, there's. Okay. But that's in another language. I want to kind of not go that way. Hmm. Guess I'll have to go that way. There's one up there. Love the telephone thing. Like this doesn't repeat for a while. I'm just looking right now to see what I want to use. Okay, is that where it repeats? Yeah. Right there. Wow, that is long. So there's the Ferris wheel, and here's the Ferris wheel clear over here. All right. Okay, so that's all I got to work with right there to not repeat. Love the number 59. Love this. Okay, where's my water pen thingy? Hold up. Right there. All right, I'm using matte medium because I think the wrinkles will make it look older. Yeah, I'll use it. All right, let me get these out of the way. Let me stack them the way that they are because you know I'm going to decorate them wrong. Let me get some things. Um, I don't, this is just a water pen thing. I don't know where I got it, what it is, what... I don't know. It's just in my thing. I just know it's always there and has water in it. It's just going to make my collage paper a little bit easier to take apart. At least that's the premise. And it doesn't make it look so um, mm, cut. See, like that right on the front of there. Okay. I'm already decorating. I like this right here. Y'all, it has been crazy around this house. The garage is demolished. For any of you who are on my personal Facebook, you saw me knocking the wall down. Me, Jaden. Push that puppy down. Um, and then the kitchen is getting delivered on the 22nd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be chaos. Jaden, luckily, for his birthday, got a pre-birthday present. It's a refrigerator for his room. <laughs> so we'll be using that. Okay, I want to use this right here. I don't know why, but I do. It keeps rolling back on me. Okay, like that. Mm, I don't think I want to put a house or anything on it. I don't know why, but I like this. I can't pronounce it. It just looks like it says addressy with the telegraph. That's what it looks like, but only in French. 
I like doing this this way because I'll just be able to roll it up and I won't have all scraps all crinkled up in that jar thingy when I'm done. Okay, love the number 59. I'm going to take that. And it doesn't matter if you crinkle it because it's tissue paper anyways. I like that one. I like the 77 over here. Talk amongst yourselves, please. I just thought I might as well turn on the camera, huh? I've been up since six this morning working. Mm-hmm. Sure I have. All right. I think that's all I want from here. I don't think I want any pictures or anything like that. No, I don't. I want more of the kit. All right. So let me roll this one up. I'll look while I'm rolling. I have yet to have babies have babies. <laughs> Angie, I have grand dogs for now. The dogs are older than your grandson. <laughs> See, we're just gonna stick that right back in there. Oh, uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good idea. Maybe that's why they. Yeah. Smart thinking, Tim. Smart thinking. Probably should have wrapped it back up in the foil, but let's put it in there a little later. If you just take your time, it'll go right back in. Ta-da! All right. I don't even know what's in this one. Apparently, I've looked at this before because that is off. I don't think I want any of this. I do like that big number one. That's pretty cool. If I do use this, it'll be in the book somewhere. I don't want these for my envelopes. All right, just checking. Just checking. I also have like AV. Aviary, I don't know. I got a couple more of these. The one that comes in the box that looks like foil. I have that butterfly one. Found it at a garage sale. There we go. Just tighten that right up. Ta-da! Alright, here we go. All right, so we got some pieces out of that. Spread it back down. Makes some sense for the address to be up there, but that's all right. I don't care. And you'll be able to see all these things because the slots will hide the flippy things. So that's fine. This is the biggest one, but... Uh, look. Mm, that one. I like that over there. I might have to use a script stamp. I don't know. Let's see what is in this. Correspondence. Am I blurry to anybody? I look blurry to me. Has anyone's YouTube been messing up lately? Like, every day, mine has been freezing and saying, wait. And you have to click the wait button and click the wait button. Click it, like, three times and then it comes back on. Has it been, have you guys been getting that? It's a pain in the butt. Is it fun to witness your baby? Oh, isn't it fun? I 
I thought you said it isn't so fun. <laughs> isn't it fun to witness your babies as adults? Sometimes I think maybe we miss, we didn't mess up so bad after all. Right? Jenna has two more years. <laughs> then bam! <laughs> she <laughs> literally. Ben, she's having one, huh? All right, that's cool. Gav, so laid back. He's just taking his time. Girl, I, I'm. I, I don't know. I don't know if I, I will be ready. I mean, one is married. They could. They could. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know half about that. Anyways, okay, let's see. So, nothing that I see on here looks like an address. So we can do one of two things. I can write it myself, or we can get a script stamp. I opt for the script stamp. Because my writing, not that great. All right. Oh, oh. Nobody sneezed. Nobody, oh my gosh, speaking of sneezes, did you hear Tracy Fox sneeze in that video this morning? It was like, pew! Yeah. I even wrote it in the comments. I'm like, um, did you sneeze? She's like, yep, dude, I did. It, it literally was, pew! I was dying. I'm like, oh my gosh. And she's like, excuse me. I mean, she even, she even sneezes pretty. What the heck? Oh my gosh. She was, oh, that cracked me up. Cracked me up. Okay, I need a script stamp. Please hold, I'm looking. Oh, speaking of the Dollar Tree stepping up the game, rub-ons? Are you serious right now? Rub-ons. Uh-huh. Rub-ons. Those are from the Dollar Tree. Oh, sorry, the Dollar 25 Tree. Yeah, I love that writing. Wouldn't that be perfect for Creep on June? Y'all better be watching. Okay, let me see my stamps. Hold up. No. I just need something. Again, talk amongst yourselves. Got a lot of stamps to look through. I don't have a napkin with that kind of stuff on it. Okay, still looking. Mm, nope, not that one. I just need something that would kind of look like address. That's kind of cool. Kind of like that one. It's, um, sorry goes in there in a bear if I have the faded script but it's just the ABCs and that's nobody's address although it's perfect size um, no 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 um that's interesting that one's got a on it. Yeah, I got a lot of stamps. Hold on. Turn it as quickly, quickly, quickly. I found my favorite stamp ever. 
again. I don't want an ace or anything like that. There's a stamp. That the Tim Holtz has a stamp. All right. No. I don't so much mind this one. What is this? Never used it before. Hip stamp hooray. Really? Woo woo. Hip stamp hooray. Okay. All right. Okay, stop doing that. All right, so I want to get out Blazing Red. Hold up. Oh, I tried something new, too. I can't use the green stays on because... Do I not have blue? All right, you got to really... almost said a bad word. You got to be kidding me. What? Where's my black at? Oh my goodness, I bet you it's up in my room. It is. That's probably going to look like garbage. I you can use faded jeans as blue. I know I, I thought I had blue stays on. Why do I not have blue and I have green? Hmm, interesting. And I have, um, looks like teal. Oh, there's navy blue. Well, I'll take that one then. Keep that one out just in case. That'll work. Although I want my stays on one. Okay, so here's something I tried that's new. And I don't like it. Wasn't impressed. Okay. I know, right? The Dollar Tree and some couch change tree, right? Okay, I tried this. I, I don't like these at all. No. And why? Because they snag. Had Have you, anyone noticed that? They snag. I don't like them, the domes. Uh, I got them to try. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's just too much. I, I don't know. But every time I would, and I was pulling the, and it's brand new. Like, it's a brand new, even the dauber is brand new. And, no, I don't like those. I, I don't like those. Sorry, Tim. I don't like them. He's like, I don't care. Everybody else in the world else does. Just kidding. Okay. Shut up, Michelle. Good lord. Alright, this one I got like a ton a long time ago. And again, this has Paris, but that's okay. I basically just want it for that. That stamp's already on my block because that's no, it's not. What's the name of my block then? That one always seems to be on my block, but it's losing its stick. I thought maybe this right here. For the little lines of it. I don't use the stamp. I would just cut the little lines on the little one. But that's really small. I can draw them myself. Would you make up your mind already? Oh my word. Oh, let's just start. Sorry.
what like these ones like the flat ones i like the flat ones yeah i didn't so you got an off brand of these i also have these in those finger dauber ones and those didn't last either i don't i don't know if it's the shape or what but yeah no nah. You like it for bigger spaces, use a lighter hand. Yeah, I am heavy inker, that's for sure. Okay, so I also know... You're going to probably hate me for this, but if I'm going to ink the, these, I have to ink them now. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm digging the oxide. It's not bad. It's not bad. And it goes really well. Let me put this up here. with the kit and that's the green stamp i'm talking about right there that is the only green right there in the kit so i couldn't use it because i have like green stays on all right it was and it went like this okay just checking. They really don't need a lot of ink on them because they're old as it is. But I'm just gonna, you know, touch it up some. But it goes so well with this kit. Oh, you can't see. It goes so well with it. I love it. So I, I'm liking it. Never used an oxide before to, to, to like, you know, majorly do anything. I've used them before, but like not in like a big project. These are a little crinkly too. Like they've been through the mail. That's right, I just crushed it. Don't care, I'm not scared. Not scared. Yep, that's enough on there. That's good for me. This is the only time you'll really get to ink that flap that goes in there. So you want to ink that really good. And on that second one too. Because if I should happen to mess up. <laughs> Oh gosh, now I don't know how these go again. This one doesn't get open. Because nothing's going into it. Like these are old, see? Like that's old. And they were real easy to come apart because, you know, the glue was gone. Or it's close to be gone. This one was upside down, right? No, because this was the top. This one's the upside down one. All right. That's right. I just said crap. Sorry. Boring watching me ink. It's a 
everybody been up to? What's going on? I feel like I am like so out of it. Like, oh my gosh. Yesterday was so busy. My uncle came into town from Florida. So this was my day yesterday. My uncle came in town from Florida because he's turning 70. And so he came up here to, he's my mom's brother, and she has another brother that lives up here already. So he came up here to see them. And so I, they went out to breakfast. And she's like, it would be really nice if you could come. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so busy. But anyways, it's family. So I ran to the restaurant really, really fast. Um, there, that's good enough. We're into the restaurant really, really fast. I had a cup of coffee, because supposedly it's the world's best cup of coffee at this place. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I was like, mm-hmm. And so I had breakfast with them, and then ran back here really fast, because Jaden had a job interview. Oh my gosh, yes, a job interview at McDonald's. And then, right next to McDonald's, is his pediatrics place, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh, we should go. And because he has to, because he's 18, I don't, you know, you, you have to, he's, a, he's an adult now. So we had, he had to sign all the papers so I could still, you know, take care of all that jazz. Because he still has a, he's, he's a senior this year and he's like, I really don't want to deal with it. And I was like, well, then you've got to sign all these HIPAA releases to me. So we stopped there. All right. So this one is open this way so we can see. Decorated. I wonder if I could decorate that long ways. No, that wouldn't make any sense. Um, hold on, I just lost my train of thought because uh, okay, so then I took him there, and then oh, I don't know. There, there was just so much. I forget what I did. Okay, that's gonna look dumb, don't you think? First of all, all the cool stuff's going to be down here at the bottom on this. If I have it opening this way, like that, the stamp and everything. But you're going to see it because it's going to flip open. All right, Michelle, just, just shut up. Okay, go that way. And then this one is opening this way. Like this. The pocket. So they all get decorated the normal way. Right? Because it's like throwing down mail. Hold on. Am I right? Yeah. It all would be in the same direction, right? I don't know. So let me go check that girl's video. Whatever. I'm going to do it all in the same way. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not good with this stuff either. Um, I want that one there. Okay. So I think I'll mostly use these for this one down here and the middle one. And then the bigger one, I'll probably have to use the stamps because that is bigger proportion. And then I'll save the numbers for up here. And use these right here and then put some random stamping on it I don't like that circle there all right I'll deal with it when I get to it all right um so yeah he had a job interview yesterday it was not his first because he had a summer job last year but he didn't want to go back to the ice cream stand. I was like, please go back to the ice cream stand. I like the ice cream stand. Because you know. <laughs> I can put down some ice cream now. That's my favorite thing. I have a bowl of ice cream every night. No fail. Don't 
that little piece of house got on there. I don't care. It looks cool. Ooh, see? It's already doing it. That's, that's neat. I like it. It's already wrinkling and looking funny. See? So when it dries, it'll be nice and crinkly. Are all the panels going to flip up down, or are they just going to flip left to right? Yeah, left to right. Because I'm going to glue them back to close. Because I, um, I, they're all going to open, and the, I'm going to make slits in these so you, they're hidden. They're hidden hinges. Mm-hmm. Telling you, go watch her video, because I'm not going to do this justice. She did a great job. Hers look really real. I'm just going to try and do my best. I like that right there. It would be helpful if I was using a stronger brush. Don't say it, Kip. I'm not getting them out. I kind of like that messed up, though. This is Michelle's next sale. I need to get those brushes. You know those brushes? You know the one. Okay, I'm going to stamp on that. I'm not done. Right. I like this one, but I don't like the other one because of the circle. That's not where the circle goes. This is a hot mess. Are you cringing? Anybody watching anything good? Jaden has me hooked on the show, y'all. Oh my goodness. I'm so hooked. And I'm only in season one. So if you've seen it, shush. It's called You on Netflix. Creepy. That's all I'm going to say. It's not creepy, but it kind of is. It's called You. And, I mean, I'm addicted. I think I watched five episodes the first day. And they're like 45 minutes long, the episodes are. Looks good to you, no cringing? Okay. I'm trying. Okay, I don't like that. I think I just want to stamp it. I think I'm done with this. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And if this opens in the back, I'll probably have to decorate those when they're put together. There's a five, Angie, a five. Okay. All right, let me get this out there. I think the rest is just going to be stamping. If it goes like this. You know what? See, that's why I said shush. So I'm not doing it. I just grabbed a really quick one. You know why? Because I'm going to throw it away when I'm done with it. Out of. Oh, that's funny. Yes, I do have nicer brushes. Much nicer brushes. But that's okay. I'm just going 
do it this way when I'm done. Downsizing the craft room. Okay, yep. Mm hmm Done with that. Let's stamp. I don't like this stuff. I do, but I don't. Excuse my arm. I know, I have two sets. Me too, Daniel. See, me too. I got my first, they're right over there. I mean, like, right there. I can see them. They're waving at me. Um, <laughs> I used them. I used them one day. You just weren't here. I did use them. I used them on my magicals. Yeah, because I wouldn't get them all dirty. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh-huh. Sure did. I'm going to crinkle that while that's a little gluey. And I was worried about it getting warped. Eh, silly me. I'm just going to hit some of those high spots. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so this one looked real to me. And because I'm using this distress, because my stays on upstairs and I'm too lazy to go up and get it, I just want the middle of the stamp. Actually, I really don't care because it's really not that bad of a stamp. Do I need to get my my big black out? Bam! I'm not gonna be able to see. Really, there is a method, I'm telling you. I don't care. I don't want to do that. I just want to touch it. Yeah, that's fine. Tip. Bam. That's fine. That actually looks fine. Hold on, let me get by. Red wipe. <laughs> Apparently, Michelle pets both of her. Oh, you're funny. Oh, Penny. 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 Hi. How are you? See, I haven't seen everybody in so long. What are you up to, Penny? How are you? How have you been? I'm making a mess. Don't mind me. I wonder if these would be easier to decorate after they're put together. Probably should have thought about that, huh? Fine. What's your working on, Penny? Do tell. I feel like I'm out of the loop. Did anyone answer me on their YouTube messing up? Is your YouTube's messing up? Like, ah, oh, that drive it's driving me nuts. Like I go to watch something and it's like Nope, not working. Oh, I like that. Good one, Capital. Good one. 
Oh, yeah, that's great. 1904. Look how nice that is. That's a nice stamp. I like that. Oh, I just want to stamp it all over, but no. So I know your YouTube is not messing up. Mine is. I don't know why. I don't know why. Again, I hope all of you are watching the creep on in June that is going on with Tracy Fox. Do, am I? Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, am I dumb? Apparently I am. Wow. That's a stamp, right? Yeah, it's a letter. All right, cool. Let's do it blue. What color is this blue? I don't know. Faded jeans. Ooh, it looks like it'll go with it. Hold on. Let me see. <gasps> Ooh, perfectly. Nice. Love. I love that stamp set. And they're sticky, too. They're like the, um, those Sam Paul ones. That's amazing. Okay. Put your lid back on. Put your lid back on. Oh, let's do a red one down on this one. Just because we can. Oh, that's right. Season has that cover. Because it smells so good. Oh, yeah. And I want those lines across there. I like that. Oh, gosh. I could sniff this all day. <sighs> Stays on you. Smell. It smells like cherries. Love it. How you living? What's up, girl? How you doing? Congratulations. Misty Sun just graduated. Be a big boy. Be a big boy now. And then I think, because this one needs a stamp too. Why not? Let's try the navy. I'm not going for perfection on any of this. I never do. That's pretty much the same color as that little one that I just used. The red is staying on there, though. I have some stays on remover, though. I'll remove it later. Um, yeah. Bob just graduated. Ah! Jay's got one more year. He's going to be 18. Misty on the 20th. On the 20th, y'all. On the 20th, he's going to be 18. I, I'm still just, what the, what the what. Cherish it, y'all. It just goes so fast. Okay. Um, let's put a little fragile on there, because we can. And I'm going with red again. I do have stays on remover. I will clean these stamps. You guys know that. I will clean my stamps. Let's put it down here. We still need an address on this one anyways. Fragile, as my mom would say. Okay, those two are together. So maybe I can go down here with this one. We'll put it up in the return corner. Oh, I got a really good idea. Where's those things at? Where's those things? 
Hold on. I have things. Really? I don't care that it didn't stamp all the way. Okay, that's good with the red. I'll need some more blue somewhere. Where's that stuff? Hold on. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Bam. Okay, so this one is going on the right. So we'll stamp it right here. These things are fun. Chink. Wow. And they stamp so good. I like them. That's going to be stuck in there. So I will flip. This one trace is flipping. It's flipping this way. So. It, no, I don't want it on that one. Let's go. Love these. Fun. I don't really get to use them all that much. Really? Get back in get back in there. They're refillable after you're done with them too. You can put ink any color you want. Where's that brush one? Where's that brush? Oh right here. Careful. Careful now. Let's put that up here. Go on a straight surface there. Oh yeah. Love. Love, love, love. Okay, I'm done with those. Again, because that's a love enough red. Okay, we need uh something there. And this needs those lines. And this needs those lines. So, I guess, since it's a pile of mail and we threw it on the table, that it can all be from 1904 because that makes sense. Why would you have different dates for different mail, right? Right. It's probably the first thing I've said all night that's made sense. So, let's do it. Again, I'd rather be using my Saison, but that's okay. Let's just go this way with it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's just cool. That's looking like a real envelope. We're looking nasty, right? You know, I like, I like nasty. This one has collage medium on it. Probably wait till it dries, huh? Should I? Yeah, it's pretty much dry. It'll be all right. Yeah, that looks cool. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, okay. I know. I don't. I don't know how it's possible to see. I'm telling you, I'm just, I have reflected this whole week. I have cried every morning, probably waking up. I'm just like, I just, I can't. It's like, I'm, especially with Jaden, you know, Jaden and I, it's just us. And... I'm just so proud of him and I'm just I'm proud of myself and I kept the, the child alive his whole life <laughs> you know what I mean like it's it's just bittersweet I don't know and then I look at his baby picture that's right by my TV and I'm like oh come on man like why you gotta go and grow up 
Uh, uh. But I guess they have to. Alright, thank you Kathy Holden, that was a great stamp. Thanks Pinder Bear, that was a great stamp. Moving things out of my way as I don't need them. I'll put these together and then that will be probably the end of my life because, you know, everybody in the house is being quiet right now because I'm live and I don't want to make them do that. So, I like this one right here for right here. Again, this is, I don't know, it looks like gibberish, but then there's the thing for affection. This is in another language that I don't know what that says. So it's perfect. Yeah, it's because my last one. And, I mean, we are, like, like that is my best friend, dude. Like, I just, man, I love this. It's just, he's, my, he's my best friend. Best friend. He's upstairs, and I don't know if he's watching, so I'm not going to tell, I'll tell you later what, what he's going to get for his birthday. He did get a refrigerator, though. That was nice for his room. He had a fridge. We don't see him much. He plays the video game a lot. Alright, well, I don't have a long stamp like except that one. You know I'm thinking about the back of this ruler right here. <laughs> the back of my ruler. Why can't I? I can do that, right? Just don't let it be upside down. We'll do a practice one. I'm only going to get half of it because that's all I really need. Half of it. That's right. I did it on my ruler. So there's no rules. Yep. It's upside down. So it's got to go this way. Okay. So we're getting this half now. Okay. Just because I want something there. That's it. I just need something there. It's fine. I just need something there. If I hate it later, I can go back over it with my own handwriting. I'm just, I'm not worried about it. Because there's a lot of things in this kit that I'm using that can be put on there or what have you. Whatever. You served your purpose, um, hip stamp hooray. Couldn't tell you where I got it, because we don't have a Tuesday morning, and I'm pretty sure that's a Tuesday morning label. See, this is why I don't like these bags, and y'all need to get those bags from Michelle. I don't like that. Thank you, Tim Holt Ruler, for being so cool. All right. falling off. I'm promise I'm really trying. I think what I'm gonna do I will stamp more off camera. I'm gonna put them together really fast and see where they are like how it turns out and then it can go from there, from where I'm going with decorating. Okay, so this one goes this way, right? Yeah, that way. And I know the thing that you don't want to do is put the corner over this, because when you open this one, this will uh, crinkle or fold, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put it kind of high up, because again, at the bottom... I'm going to use this. Yep, I just stamped on it, but I just, I actually need this side up. I'm going to put this as my pocket 
for them. It's it's a pretty it's a pretty decent cover, but what I'm doing on the inside is it's pretty it's, it's gonna be pretty neat. Okay, so what you do, and this is why we open them. All right, so let me get my pencil that disappears. Where's it at? Right here. This pencil disappears. So it's all good. So we opened it. So we could. Where is it? Where is it? Really? I specifically put that out here. Okay, barely not. Oh yeah, Jaden's getting on his game, so yeah, you definitely want me to get off here. Oh, copyright strike. With language. Okay, so that's where it starts. Okay, where do we stop? Right there. Okay. And that puts a hole in it. Then you take this part. You don't put them together yet. And you put it in here. want to give it some room oh my gosh all this stuff can you guys see what I'm doing can you see that okay so I put it through the little slot okay so this will all get closed back up eventually and this will be like this oh I have it upside down so I was like oh my gosh I went right over the corner so it'll be like that, and then you'll open it like that. But you want to give yourself enough room. So the flappy has enough room to be, you know, free. Free flapping. But you're also going to have this piece right here. So what she did, well, she used, she used washi tape. I'm not using washi tape because... I don't know. That's expensive. I'm just going to use a piece of masking tape. And the masking tape will also keep your whatever you're putting in here from coming down. So I think, hold on. I need spice just a tad bit more. And again, my pencil it goes away and I don't care if that's ripped because it looks more authentic authentic okay again on the right side because that's the side I'm gluing down on my right side is going down like this it's flapping out that way this one's flapping out this way okay yep I'm the right way believe it or not so I'm just gonna put it right in there like that open it up it has room to move put this flap down first that's the one that you know moves in the wind and then I'm going to put this flap down too because that will catch as well so nothing will catch when you put tuck things into your envelope so that's going to go like that so this one goes like this is going to go like this remember 77 is at the top then this one's going to go like this. And then where's where's the baby? 
there's the baby and then so if this one goes like this you want this one to open this way but because we want them all the same way or I want them all the same way maybe I don't because that's not the same way maybe I'll go this way with it sounds good to me okay so that's already put together kind of tape so you just have to pull this apart this is why you only have to take the bottom two apart and get my spot again and I want it like this but remember this back one is going to flip this way so you don't want your corner over it you can go over it this way is fine but it has to be on this envelope so let's put it right there ignore these flaps all right so let's put it right there and that's why you draw the line because that's a little bit over so let's go right there and on hers hers ripped right there but it just totally made it look more real and her is i think it's scrimping mommy something like that i don't know it was a video from two years ago it popped up and i was like oh that's a cool idea and tracy just came out with this kit so it's a very cool idea and she used the metal ruler and i had my metal ruler out and i don't know where it is oh yep yep he's playing his his scary game so yeah i will use this side because there's metal on this side be very careful with this one because it does get close to that edge but like i said if it rips it's, it's okay because hers dead okay put this in here it over oh my goodness seriously put it through the slot make sure you give yourself enough room for it to be free so that one will open that way and it'll still be a pocket a pocket here this one will open this way it'll be a pocket here and then this one will open this way and it'll be a pocket here oh my gosh i flipping did it hold on i haven't taped it or glued it yet there's still room for error okay let's get this puppy taped up I'm just going to go across right there. I'm just got a little bit too much tape across there just to close that flappiness. Like, because that will tear. And then I always use masking tape because masking tape best matches your paper. Especially if it's vintage paper. But these aren't, you know, it doesn't matter. It's all right. It's inside. So there's the bundle. And then what I thought I would do is I'm going to put a tag right here and I'm going to use part of Tracy's kit and I'm going to use two little tags to close them shut. But I thought what I would do before that is get some red twine and just like bundle them up like they were thrown on like my table. You know what I mean? And that will be part of the kit and look at this hold on i hope that was totally worth the wait I'm not anticlimactic okay so imagine it's on the cover see oh mm. this even the black twine even if we use blue because there's blue but what's the other longer one 
like this one. It's very, very busy and it needs something to calm it down. So, I mean, they kind of get lost in there, but there's ways around that because I'm planning on putting like the postcards in behind it and stuff like that so it's kind it'll blend in this will be here because this is mm, is this the book size <sighs> maybe not that big i don't know let me see hold on i haven't decided which one i'm using yet You can't see yet. Sorry. Let me check. Yeah, it's pretty much a book size. Pretty much book size. If I decide to go that route. If I decide to go that route. But that's what it's going to look like. Um, I'm going to do some more stamping. Um, I am going to go get my stays on because it'll be a little bit darker of the black because I like the way that the um, the tissue paper is so dark. I like that. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. See, and it's all hidden. So now you just go back and you glue your envelope back together. Like that. Leaving this flap or what gets put down on your on your book because then you'll have a pocket there a pocket there and pocket here but they're hidden you can't you can't I mean you can see my line right now but it's it's a disappearing it's a disappearing uh we call that pencil. So that's where I'm going with this. You probably won't see it for a while, you know, because I have 17 different projects coming along. Thank you, Laura Kai. You're awesome. Wasn't my idea. It was the Scrimpin' Lady. I don't know what her name is. Scrimpin' Mommy? I don't know. She has a great accent, though. I think in Ireland. I don't know. I think it's Grimp and Mommy, Misty. I really do. I just used my ruler. <laughs> yep, no rules. No rules. If so, do you need to do that one first? I don't know what that was. All night, Misty. Thanks, Lorcai. It was good to see you. Good to see you. I haven't seen anyone in a while, and I apologize. It's only going to get worse because, like I said, next week the um, kitchen will be coming, and the garage is still coming along, and it's Jaden's birthday, and it's Father's Day, and to all you mamas out there pulling double duty, happy Father's Day. You missed it. Looks fabulous, though. Thanks. It's that done, Ange. We were just seeing how it looked on uh, the paper. It needs um, stamped and everything like that still. Could go with something plain. But then that's too plain. But if we added something like this across the bottom, then it kicks it up back up a notch. Anyways, I love this kit from Tracy Fox. If y'all didn't get it, get it. Uh, if you guys did not. Check out the new release, the Steampunk Folio. Oh, my word. And I'm not a steampunk girl at all. Like, at all. Love the elements in it. Love the stamps. Love. Love. Love the, the script in it. It's great. And I'm using these pocket folder thingies. From it's made my life so much easier. I think you can get you can get in my garage sales. I got like 300 of these things, and I'm like, duh. So now all my all of them are la uh, labeled. Everything is labeled. Love that. Um, her link is down below for the kit, the steampunk kit. Also pick up um dispatch, dispatch. Um. 
That's what I'm working with right now. Uh, and don't forget, hashtag creep on June. I will see you guys again on the 30th for that one. Uh, Angie said she was the 17th. Debbie Kip's coming up. Thank you, Kip. I appreciate it. Um, I know the colors are fabulous in that kit. Oh, you just got this one the other day, the postal one? Yeah. Angie's the 17th. Kip, what day are you? What day is yours? You're the 23rd? Okay. And I'm back on the 30th. I have one already up on the 4th. Um, I did one. I got more compliments on that basket. <laughs> That's funny. Um... But if you go to Tracy Fox's channel tonight, or not tonight, but just sometime soon, she puts together that steampunk folio. Listen for the sneeze, y'all. It sounds like this. Pew. Yeah. Who are you going to post a sneak peek? Oh, put it in the group. Put it in the group chat. That's where we've been sneaking peeks. I have mine. And like I said, the pressure of being the last day and everybody's got such good ideas. I mean, I started naming off names, but I don't, you know, favorites or anything. But dang, everybody has done so good. Talk about reimagining a box, a matchbox. Just do a little corners, like a, just a corner, like a little corner. I saw Kip's, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. The group name is right for us. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your week. Um, I will be out of town this week and I will be spending the weekend with my father. I'm leaving Saturday and spending the night and Sunday waking up with him. I also have my nephew's graduation. Congratulations to him. So Jay and I will be out this weekend and Marsh, Marsh, Marsh is going to stay home and pack the kitchen and it's going to arrive on the 22nd. And so we'll just have people all over the place. I appreciate you all coming and just hanging out with me and watching. I know it was a debacle to start with prayed all the way through the whole video but hey you got some conversation in um i hope every one of you uh have a great week just have a great week and i miss you bunches and laura it was so good to see you and derby i know you're out there and i hope you're doing okay dear um so i will see everybody later and again thank you and welcome to all the new subs thank you um, I'm glad, Penny, Penny, Penny. I love you. I love all your faces. Okay, bye.